When concerts and other entertainment opportunities come to the corridor, it can mean big bucks for hotels, restaurants, and certainly the venues themselves. Like tonight, when an internationally known techno band is giving dancers a show at Hawkeye Downs. CBS 2 News reporter Dora Miller joins us live with a look at what a concert like this can do for the community. Dora. Well, the German bass group Panpot, they're expected to bring in more than a thousand people right here tonight. Now, it only costs $20 to get in the doors, but with so many people, that cost adds up. If you ask techno music promoter Matt Rissy, he'll tell you this kind of music is becoming more popular in Iowa. We've got a nice solid uh, group of maybe a couple thousand people in Iowa that come out to shows. Lately, dance music has really exploded in the United States. and. Uh, you're, you're seeing big acts in bigger cities. Big acts like Pan Pots in big cities like Cedar Rapids. Rissy has been promoting for years and says after eight months of planning, Friday's party at Hawkeye Downs is going to be different. This isn't really a profit venture um, for my 15 year anniversary. I just wanted to do something really special and give back to the community that's been supporting me for a long time. But the money doesn't hurt. Hawkeye Downs executive director Roy Nowers says revenue generated from shows like this help more than just his business. The economic boost Cedar Rapids sees with all these concert goers that spend money in the gas stations and the restaurants and some of them rent hotel rooms, you know, that's a huge thing for Cedar Rapids. Nowers says they host many activities, but it's hard to pinpoint just how much money they can see in one night. How much someone spends on an average changes. So it changes per, per performer. So the money will come, but Rissy says for now, it's about more than that. It's all about forgetting about your, your daily grind and, and your day job and, and the troubles that life brings and just cutting loose for a few hours and, and dancing it out like nobody's watching. Now we can hear the music out here and it's not going to stop until 2 a.m. So you still have time to make it if you want to come out. Covering the corridor in Sierra Rapids, Dora Miller, CBS 2 News, 10 at 10.